This year, as always, we've tried to look at the various issues that we think are important and uh, which are emerging and uh, will be of interest to you. We're particularly excited this year to welcome Benedetta Alagranzi, who is the head of the WHO hand hygiene program and also the, obviously, infection control program, and uh, to come and speak to us. And this year has been, well, the last 18 months, I suppose, has She's been uh, pretty busy uh, in that, as you will have seen up the back, the orange book um, is the infection, WHO Infection Control Core Components. Uh, it's also available online, so you can download this, but uh, at huge expense. We had copies flown out from Switzerland, so uh, please only take one. Um, but if you need more, it's available online. And also what's pretty notable is that just on Monday, um, the uh, WHO CRE, CRAB and Pseudomonas guidelines were released. And it's notable because uh, actually at the uh, meeting about the core components for infection control, there was a discussion amongst many of the uh, group who were present there and it was recognised that CRE and the situation of multi-resistant gram negatives was changing so fast that it should be prioritised as a an additional uh, specific guideline in addition to the standard core components document. And so um, meetings were held, review of the literature and then meetings were held earlier in the year. And just this week as part of Antibiotic Awareness Week, the guidelines were released. You'll see there's a printed hard copy. It's only available on the internet at the moment. You'll see a photo of Sally and uh, Kate on the front. I think Kate's daughter's quite excited about that. Um, but these are really important also. So they're a subset, if you like, about the core components document, but they're also important for you to have a look at. Leave the hard copy if you can, but download it off the net when you get home. It's just come out on Wednesday. So it's a real pleasure to welcome you all and to our various speakers who we'll, I'll introduce uh, during the morning. But uh, firstly, to start off, uh, I'd like to welcome Benedetta Alagranzi, who, as I mentioned, is uh, head of the uh, infection control program at WHO, and Benedetta is going to give us two talks um, this afternoon, and um, and then one uh, the opening plenary tomorrow morning at the infection control conference. So to give you an idea of what it's like to work at WHO, she was in Washington DC on Wednesday. Uh, then flew via Doha to Melbourne, then arriving Thursday night, gave a lecture at the Austin Hospital Friday, and now she's here and then flies out tomorrow night for Senegal. So um, if you're worried about climate change, it's all her fault. <laughs> um, but she uh, performs important work. So uh, Benedetta is by training an infectious disease physician and trained in Italy, and then um, then moved to WHO about 11 years ago when in fact she was pretty much the only person interested in infection control and recognising the importance of infection control as a, um, an important measure both in terms of controlling antimicrobial resistance but also the whole, all the issues about hospital safety. And really uh, the program over the last 10 years, both Benedetto in particular but also work collaborating with others in Geneva <coughs> such as Didier Pitté has expanded the importance of infection control massively such that uh, both last year and then again this year at the World Health Assembly, the issues of antimicrobial resistance and the importance of infection control and controlling elements of uh, AMR spread have been raised the issue of uh, or the level of having a, a World Health Assembly uh, recommendation regarding these issues. So there's no one better on the planet to actually talk about WHO and both hand hygiene, but also the wider issues of infection prevention control and Benedetta. So it's a pleasure to welcome her here to uh, present to us today.